the northern forests of the Adirondacks and the northern Appalachians is a story of recovery and beauty. But it's not yet fully recovered, nor as beautiful as it once was and could be again. Trees have healed wounded lands. The return of forest species reflect an era of natural renewal. Some of nature's engineers create ponds, wetlands, and meadows. Although seldom seen, some creatures are equally versatile in the water and on land, denning in logs or piles of twigs close to the water's edge. Forest-dwelling omnivores roam much of the northern boreal forest and feed on a myriad of small animals and occasionally fruits and mushrooms. Other opportunistic omnivores prey on whatever is available and easy to scavenge. Large herbivores spend their summers grazing in meadows and move into the forest during winter for protection from the elements. Other herbivores climb trees to find food. Some adaptable predators inhabit wooded areas, forest edges, and swampland, adding quiet beauty to rocky hillsides. Our own perceptions of some species are a product of their mostly shy, mysterious, yet intelligent nature and powerful presence. They needn't be feared, nor should they be dismissed as harmless. They simply need to be respected. Raptors have reclaimed their predatory function, but not all predators received a second chance. Sadly, critically important members of this web of life remain conspicuously missing. In a changing world, these apex guardians can maintain the resilience needed to preserve nature's balance. Should we welcome back these critical shepherds to preserve America's wild heritage?